Well, uh, no, I didn't get into a fight, but I had an accident on the basketball court. Let's just say that, all right? Um, anyways, what a day to start off the Tuesday. Um, no better than having some mail received, and let's open it together. Let's see what we got. I already know what it is. I already know who it's from. It's from Paul Jameson with the Green Industry Podcast, and guys, if you are wanting to start your own lawn care and landscape business, I would highly recommend you go and check out the Green Industry Podcast. I've been featured on it many times, and Paul was kind enough to feature me in one of his books. So this is the Lawn Care Advantage, Winning Strategies for a Thriving Landscaping Business, wrote and signed by Paul Jameson. I told him to, uh, oh, there we go. Well, I'm going to read it. Um, To Phil, your entrepreneurial journey is inspiring. Thanks for letting me share your story with others. I appreciate your walk with the Lord and your sincere desire and example to please the Lord by your business, social media, honoring Jesus. You inspire me to be a better man and make wise decisions. Thanks for your friendship. All the best, Paul Jameson signed. So I asked him for a signed copy. I didn't ask him for this um, uh, encouraging message but thank you so much Paul you've actually encouraged me as well throughout my journey and so again I'm featured in one of these chapters I don't know which one it is I'll have to read through it but maybe one day once I do I'll kind of uh, uh, you know share with you guys what my my story was and everything like that but uh, that's what we got we got the book And later today, I'll read through it and see where I'm at and kind of highlight it or put a bookmark it and maybe we'll go through it and read uh, my story for you guys. So I appreciate it, Paul. Thank you again so much. Again, Paul Jameson with the Green Industry Podcast. Highly, highly recommend his podcast and also his knowledge. So it's 2.42. The part was supposed to come in at 2.30. I called the dealer in the morning. They said the part should come in at 2.30. Yeah, it's 2.42. I'm supposed to mow this overgrown property. I promised her that I'd come out today. I even told her that. Look at that. All around us. When things just don't add up, man, I tell you what. I really hope the park comes in today because now I'm kind of worried. They might call any minute. Maybe I'm just kind of panicking for no reason. But... I just want to get this done. I want to get this property serviced and hopefully I won't get rained on. No promises. I already see a big cloud coming in. I think it's going to drop rain. I got my, I'm at my storage unit and I might have to throw my equipment into the storage facility if it does start dropping rain and just wait it out here in my storage unit until the part comes in. Then I go and pick it up, install the part and go and, um, and mow that overgrown property. And my eyes a little bugging me, but I think it should be fine. Anyways, I'll wait for a call. Really? They said they'd call me when it comes in. I had to call them. It's three o'clock. And uh, of course it's in. Of course they didn't call me. I load up real quick, run out, install that PTO. Oh man. I need the mower, but I got everything else covered. All right, let's hit the road. All right, here at the Horizon, this is our Xmark dealer. So I got a direct swap because I mentioned to him that the mower is only a year old. And he's like, you got the original part? The broken part, I'm like, yeah, here you go. And I gave him my old broken PTO switch. I kept it. So very important for you guys. I need to put on my windscreen real quick. Very important for you mower guys, if you are going to um, deal with any warranty parts. Sorry, now I have to place it to the side. 
always keep your old broken parts. If you're gonna come bring it into warranty, keep keep the broken stuff, all right? So they can directly swap it over. It was a $40 part too, so. Uh, here's the fun part, is getting this in there, which it should just pop into place. I just need to, um, let's see, it'll probably go in this way, so I think it'll just pop in. There we are. And now, the wire underneath, which I probably won't get on camera, but there's a wire that needs to be connected. So I'm gonna connect that real quick, test it out. good so we are off to the job got it fixed in the parking lot how cool is that this ain't looking too good guys the streets are literally flooding ah uh, man I think we might have to cancel I don't know I'm still going to the property anyways Maybe it'll stop. This is a bunch of snow. <laughs> snow! It's a bunch of rain. At least I got my equipment covered. The dry wraps. Excluding my uh, battery mower. Which I hope doesn't get full of water. We'll see I guess when we stop at the property. All right, so it's not too bad here. It looks like the majority of the rain was um, on the north side. This is more of the south side, but look at this, man. Unbelievable. So yeah, I did this property, I did the edging, and it's partially my fault that it's this overgrown. I never intended it for to get the, to get like this because I had a mower breakdown, and plus her lawn care guy kind of, I don't know, disappeared, right? Like they always do, those flybys like to just disappear and no call, no show, and so anyways, gonna mow all this overgrowth. Grass basically has went to seed, and uh, we need to tr trim all these weeds in the cracks, and it loops around. As you guys may have known, maybe not. Maybe this is your first time seeing this property. But it loops all the way around. Look at all those. It's all seed, almost all. So I'm gonna start working. And kind of looks like, so there's like that big rain cloud. Kind of looks like it cleared up a bit. So it's about 3.30, four right now. Gets dark at around eight. We got plenty of time to get this thing cut and clean.
Here comes the rain. Tell you what, it's been downpouring the whole video, but we got it done. Check it out. So the property line ends right, starts there. Got it all edged up, clean the street side, mowed, trimmed, edged. We blew off all the clippings, cleaned up the concrete, and we also bagged. Now, if you don't watch my main channel and you watch only my second channel, the reason I had to mow today is because I couldn't take it any longer. Now, I'm telling you, I got my mower fixed, and I'm like, all right, I can go and mow this property under a little bit of rain because it's going to rain like this whole week. And I don't want to wait another week to get this property serviced because it's going to be like two or three feet tall. So that's why I had to do it today. And now I can wait till this rain week ends for next week. It'll be much, much easier to service because this is now a weekly property. So all my equipment's soaking wet, but the dry wrap saved the day. Oh. And uh, let me see, I did. Oh, we got the dry wrap on the blower as well. Let's see if we got water in this thing. Bone dry. Looks like it still works. I'll have to test it some other day. All right. Um, I might end this video here. I don't know if I have anything else, but if I do. Catch you guys on the next one. So thank you so much for watching. I'm just kidding, a little bit more. All right, so it stopped somewhat raining. I was kind of losing hope in that dealer, but I think it was really nice that they let me just take the part without having to uh, install them by their own mechanics. You know how some repair shops do that? Like if you want to get something done under warranty, you have to let their mechanics do it and do go through go through all the paperwork and stuff so just to recap i i came in and i told him what's going on well i ordered the part of course but i'm like hey here's my old one and this mower is like a year old is it could be under warranty and he looked at when i bought it and swapped it out so the part number for that pto for anyone wondering is 126-6187. It's an Xmark PTO sealed switch. So it's really cool that they just let me swap it out. Just it was literally a trade-off. And I didn't they probably more than likely made a report. I don't know how the warranty stuff goes for Xmark, but I know for steel you had to fill out a report and send it in, but you had to be the one to repair it. So you know, I'm, I'm just happy that they allowed me to do that. I was kind of losing hope in that dealer, but you know, they kind of regained my service, all right, to say the least. But I will more than likely visit another dealer. They carry Toro parts, but Horizon carries Xmark parts. Now I know Toro owns Xmark, and so I was, you know, they probably can get parts for both. So, but you know, I'm glad I got everything worked out. I need to put all my equipment away. This is for sure the, well, I might, I might catch you guys. I might surprise you guys with another clip. But if it's not, hey, you know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, God bless you, and we'll see you in the next one.